Hello Beverly Troop, welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills and welcome to another day full of tea. Girl, I know I didn't post earlier today and I didn't do the top up of the morning and all of that. But if you are following me on my personal Instagram, you know that yesterday I was very busy and I am exhausted. You know, I am so tired, like, girl, you have no idea, although I have a, such a wonderful and beautiful day yesterday, thank you for all your well wishes, so if you have no idea what I'm talking about, yesterday was my 10 year anniversary, and we decided to go to Disneyland, we haven't been there in years, girl, I have to tell you, like, it's a lot, it's a lot, it was amazing, but you, you get there at like, you know very early in the morning and you left by midnight and you walk all day long like probably you can tell it like on my energy right I'm like <laughs> but anyways you know how I am I mean I'm live I live for you guys so I was like I'm still gonna be doing some videos I'm still gonna be dropping some tea because why wait for tomorrow why wait for tomorrow when the tea is happening right now, right? Okay, so um, we're going to be talking about the Real Houses of Beverly Hills. There is a little bit of tea regarding our least favorite housewife ever. Well, not ever, but like, or I don't know, maybe. Anyways, we're going to be talking about Miss Diana Jenkins, okay, and Reunion. And yeah, but before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you want to support my channel, now you can do it through the thank bottom right here. And let's talk about this mess. Hey, yo, me. No. Right now. Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. <laughs> better? It's bitch better? I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. Okay, guys. So, I got a little bit of coffee. I have got a little bit of, like, energy going on. And before we start, it is time to give a shout out to our partners of this video. The people from liquid iv as you know i have been taking this every single day i literally took one yesterday after we got from disneyland because i was so dehydrated and girl this was so good um it hydrates you twice as fast as water it has amazing flavors and you can get it on the link in the description below use my discount code shade and empire and you will get 15 percent off plus free shipping so get your liquid iv right now Girl, you know that I'm all about keeping it real. I have no energy, okay? I am tired, and it is what it is. Anyways, <laughs> so, uh, as you know, the reunion is coming next week. Actually, today is the season finale, so stay tuned tomorrow and the day after tomorrow because we're going to be talking a lot about the season finale, right? And... um. We don't know exactly what is going to happen. There is a lot of like Kyle finally turning on Lisa Rena and Erica Jane. And there is like a, a, a whole situation going on over there. But now we're going to be moving into the reunion. As you know, Miss Diana Jenkins didn't went to the reunion because she got COVID in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever. So she got COVID in Hawaii and she was like, oh, I'm not even going to be there the whole reunion. I'm just going to do like a small segment. She, I think she literally was there for like 30 minutes. Girl, one of the most controversial women this season. And she's just going to be there for 30 minutes. Okay. So anyways, Bravo released the official looks for the reunion. I have to tell you, some of them look amazing. Okay. And um, even though there is a lack of theme, there, it's like, you know, there was like, oh, just wear whatever the fuck you want to wear, you know? And some of the, most of these women actually look amazing, but it's like, 
okay like this is like a random party you know there is no it's so weird because bravo like they they usually like to have you know you know everyone together or the same color or the same theme you know and this was was like so out of nowhere i don't know what is going on with Burberry hills it should be like i don't know like all of them dressed by the same um uh designer or something or at least the same color or something but this was like so out there there are like they're everywhere. Even Garcelle herself literally said it, like posted it on, on you know, on Instagram, and she says like, like yeah, it looked like we were all going to a different party. You know, like there were no coercion into the whole thing. But anyways, some of them were looking amazing. Uh, Garcelle was looking great, but honestly, I have to say one of my favorite is Kyle. She looked stunning on that dress. She looked amazing. Crystal was looking beautiful. I love Kathy Hilton because her dress is like a literally ladylike and she looks like beautiful. Like it's so Kathy Hilton. I just, I just love her dress. Um, I have to say my least favorite was Lisa Rena. Like I it was so like the same. And the other one that I didn't quite like was Dorit. I think it was just too, like, simple out there, you know. And Erica Jane, her picture was a little bit blurry. So, like, I didn't get it. But, yeah. Uh, but one person was very noticeably missed from the official post from Bravo was Miss Diana Jenkins, you know. And even though she didn't assist to the reunion in person, she was there through zoom and before like even like if the if the housewife was just through zoom they will still post their dress you know and they didn't decide to do it i mean they didn't put anything it's like she didn't exist now everyone is of course fueling the rumors that this is the end for diana jenkins the fact that bravo is not even spending ten dollars on paying someone to add the picture to the other ladies girl i mean they literally put kathy hilton which is a friend of the show and not diana jenkins you know what i mean like it's insane so people are like and i do believe the same like she is done i think she's done with the show i think she's not gonna come back i think she did it because she kind of like have to but it is what it is now it is in interesting that diana actually posted some behind the scenes herself and she's wearing this, I think it's like a green dress, if I'm right. Um, she looks great. But I'm asking myself, like, where is the COVID? Like, she, I remember that she said that she couldn't exist because she was extremely sick. Like, she got COVID and she was extremely sick. She looks amazing. She looks great. There are, There is, like, a, a, a glam squad right there. I thought when you got COVID, no one can be around you. Like, what is going on here? This is so weird and confusing. I mean, of course, the only thing that we can assume is that she didn't give a fuck. She didn't want to be there. She uses the COVID excuse, you know, and she did whatever she wanted to do. But she was not bad. She was, I, I, she was not even sick. She was just looking amazing. And yeah. So I think this is it. I think this is the end of Miss Diana Jenkins. So anyways, that's it. That's the tea that I have right there for you. It's going to be interesting to see what she has to say at the reunion. You know what would be even more interesting? If they decided to cut her completely from the reunion. Can you imagine that? Girl. Although it wouldn't make sense because Diana did a lot this season. A lot of bad things. And she need to be held accountable for those things so if they cut her off from the reunion i think people will be pissed to be honest so anyways let me know what you guys think in the comments below and like always don't forget to like this video share this video subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you around see ya bye